It was the 1980s when full episodes of G.I. Joe were running on TV. I was a kid back then, and it was everything a child during that time could hope for. Good and evil, battles, weapons, adventure. What a thrill. Here in Miami, we had a Toys R Us nearby. It was located next to International Mall. You know what I mean when I say some memories become a bit hazy as time goes by and you get older? Um, maybe those memories become more like snapshots as opposed to being able to remember full, uninterrupted moments. But I'll, I'll tell you what, I remember my old man driving me to Toys R Us and me seeing that hu the, the huge letters above that massive store. Um, amazing. My folks would buy me G.I. Joe action figures, and it was an ongoing obsession as a child. Those G.I. Joe figures would hang on pegs along the aisles at Toys R Us. Just huge. A total thrill of being able to pick out one or two figures. Um, I was more, it was more than I can, could contain myself with, to be honest with you. As time went on, I ended up with a massive collection of action figures and accessories as well. My folks were really great at letting my imagination run free with adventure. Looking back, they really allowed me to explore and develop in, in many ways. They sure had their faults like all of us humans, but boy, growing up in the 80s, looking back, it was simple. You know, good versus evil. No internet, small TV sets, Walkmans, and bike riding around town with friends. Just amazing. Let me tell you a story about a lesson I learned as a child back in those days. One weekend, a friend of my mom and her son came over to our house. Back in those days, my dad, if I remember correctly, uh, worked weekends a lot. So he was not around for this. Anyways, my mom's friend and her son came over for a visit. The boy and I played G.I. Joe's on the floor for hours while the adults talked. You know how that goes. Uh, I remember getting sleepy, and I went to bed for a nap. So later I, I woke up in the afternoon, and the kid and his mom had left. So I went to grab my G.I. Joe's that I kept in a transparent plastic bag, long bag. Uh, the action figures and the bag were missing. And I searched, and they were nowhere to be found. I told my mom, and we both searched, and nothing. You know, me being a child instinctively knew that that boy had taken my toys. Because, I mean, they were there. The only thing that it was different was that we had visitors, and then those toys were gone. Uh, my mom called the other mom, but I don't know what was said over the phone. I remember the mom showing up that evening with all my G.I. Joe action figures returning them to me. Okay, it, it turns out, if I remember well, my mom said that her son had told her that I had given him, okay, given him all my G.I. Joes as a gift. That was the first lesson for me. Lying and stealing. Honestly, looking back, I don't see how that mother could have not noticed and then asked my mom, hey, did your son give these to my son? And even then, considering the popularity of the toys and the fact that they were costly, so, you know how that goes. Well, I remember that episode well. I hope you enjoyed that.
I'll leave a link to my Etsy shop where you can find this piece and other items down in the description. Subscribe to my channel to follow my story. Click the bell to be notified when new episodes come out each week.